Hello, I am Jonathan J. Reinhardt from the Wargaming Recon podcast. And today I'm doing a quick unboxing video. Normally I don't do these sort of things. As people who listen to the podcast know, it's an audio only podcast. So video is not normally something I do. And as you can see, if you've ever watched any of the live recordings of the show, they don't happen here. I am in Wargaming Recon Central, the gaming space that I have, which is my basement. <laughs> So it is my finished basement, and today I'm doing an unboxing video for Cigar Box Battle Mats. The folks at Cigar Box Battle Mats had sent me some for review, and I wanted to do an unboxing to share that with you so you can see arrived today, right? So, and if you wonder what this is, I'm actually taking a supplemental video with my iPhone so people can get a closer view of things and from a different angle. So I was expecting a box. Don't know why, but the video is called unboxing videos. It's the style of video, it's what they are. This is not a box. I actually, I don't know why, but I thought it'd be like a, a fairly big box because these are gonna be large and they're not. Uh, so that's the first thing. And the second thing is, it's like kind of come out of frame. I wanna tilt down and show this here that you see. So this is what I've been using for a while, just green felt. I picked up at Jermaine Fabrics, got it at a dirt cheap price, had a coupon and everything. So you can see that is here. So my table, as you can see, just felt. And let's focus in on the product here, which is, let me get a little closer, the Scarebox Battle Mats. And box cutters, right? Not going to be coming in handy, is it? So that's okay. It's very nicely packaged, I should say. And the reason why I'm not showing you the front has my address. No one needs to know that. Um, it's heavy, heavy, actually. So this, what's the weight on it? This is three mats. They were sent via FedEx to me, FedEx Home Delivery. And I'm just going to see if they have here what the weight is. 5.44 pounds. So I pick it up and I'm like, it has some weight to it. So let's find a good spot to cut in. It's a nice looking bag. Okay, I'm going to hold it away because I don't want to damage the mats at all. They are fabric, of course. So we just open it up. And let's get rid of this. And I'll show you the first mat. Oh, so this one, right here, it's a nice plastic. Here, I can slide it out, and it has a tag on it that says what the order number is uh, and when it was done and everything. So you can see that's really handy that you can have that information handy right here. And the bag's also nice because you can keep it in it. So this is the desert map, and it's nicely folded. I'm never, ever going to be able to get it folded back like this. That I know. Um, look at the printing on it. it. It looks really good. So this is the one I've been sharing on our Facebook page. And oh, this is so soft. I just I want to cuddle it. And I want to be like, oh, my goodness, it's, it's soft. It'd be a great blanket, uh, an expensive blanket, mind you, but it'd be a great blanket. Uh, so this is a, a good one here. I'll just move a little closer. Here we go. <laughs> so it doesn't cut off so much of me. And it, it looks nice. It's nicely tailored. So you can, I hope you can see this right here. That's all the stitching. And you can see the ends. It's nicely round. It's a little bit of fraying. And I believe that's intentional and something you're going to get with the material because this is, um, it, it's just, it's, it's really nice fabric. And let's open this up. Oh, it's staticky. Oh no, this is going to hurt. So this is a six by four. It caught at the bottom. I could drape it on myself like a Roman. <laughs> Six by four battle mat. They actually say six by four plus. 
And the reason is, is they give you a little extra because when you put it on the table, you can put stuff underneath it. So let's pretend this is on the table, right? And I could put a bunch of hills in and you smooth it down. You can put t-shirts in if you don't have stuff. And so you can kind of make a topographical map here. If you can kind of see just by bunching things up. And actually I have, cause I'm a Lego fanatic. I have some Lego stuff here, some things. So you can make a quick two tiered hill and you just go and you smooth it out. So you can kind of see there's that definition so I can make it really firm here. If I wanted it to be a cliff, right? And this is my cliff and then you, you go. Or, or I could slope it a little more like so. You get the idea. Um, and snow elevation, great terrain. And the printing on this, it's gorgeous. There's a nice graduation of color. It's speckled in areas. It's a desert. Uh, I got the one that's no road, but there's cracks and things in it. <coughs> Excuse me. It looks so real. Uh, I can't believe how real this looks. And again, it's nice and soft and great change in color. And you just look at it and you can almost just use it without other terrain on it, really. I mean, it would be a little one dimensional in that regard because you're not going to have the elevation or trees or whatever. But just looking at this, it kind of outlines everything, where things are and how you could potentially use stuff. It is, it's fantastic. So let's, that creek link's going to set it Kill me in a minute. So that's that one. And then we've got two others. So this is a another one. It's in a nice plastic bag. Should I ever be able to fold any of them up again? I can go ahead and get it back into this for nice safekeeping. I'll never ever be able to get them back in the bags, but should I, or should you be able to, you can do such a thing. This one doesn't have an order number on it like the other one did, but that's okay. So we'll just take the bag off. And again, it's nice and soft. And it's funny because this, I'm gonna hold it up for you. It looks just plain white, but there's actually some variations in color. A little bit of blues in here. I'm hoping the camera picks it up for you. My lighting might be a little off. You get some grays, of course, but you're actually getting some change of color. It shows things like ice and the speckling. Let's open it up further and, oh, beautiful. I mean, look at this. So you could get away, of course, with just using white belt. You could absolutely do that. And if you're on a budget and this isn't in there, something you'd have to do. Um, it has some sort of sticker on the back. I'm not quite sure what that's for. I will, some sort of label maybe, I will have to ask them about. It is stuff they're good. I don't know if it means something. And of course where I pulled it up, everything is fuzzy now, so I don't quite know why there's a sticker there. Um, it's something to ask about. And the other one didn't have. One thing, I didn't get to the corner that had it. This one, and I've seen the labels on the the front, and maybe I've just been looking at an odd um, side of it online in the pictures, but I've seen their logo, and their logo is great, some gar box battle mats, and I love that they do the branding, I love that they have it, but like I said, on the pictures I had seen online, it looked like this was the part that would face you, so you'd have this on your table somewhere, and that'd be thrown up, and I was like, oh man, I, I don't know if I want to see that, like I want it to just be whatever. So I like that it's here, that they get the branding, but that it's underneath, so you don't have to see it. And again, this one, just like the other one, the desert map, mat rather, this one is nice stitching throughout. It's very well made, very soft, soft like a blankie, soft like a baby's bottom. I can say that because I have a, a little one. And let me get up so I can show you again, six by four, six foot by four foot. And you can see, this 
I'm going to review it more fully because I'm going to put it through the works. I mentioned a baby, right? I have a toddler. These things, I'm told, not by the folks at Cigar Box, but by some people I know who have them and who sell them, some game store owners, that these are supposed to be somewhat spill-proof. And I don't know if that's true. I'm going to double-check before I do it. But I'm going to try spilling stuff on them <laughs> and see if I can get the stains out because you can wash them. Don't put them in the dryer. But you can wash them. There's full instructions on the Cigar Box Battle Mat website. But again, just like the other one, I got my Lego boxes underneath. And behold, instant elevation. I mean, this is this is extra, but instant elevation. And this this is one of the things people love about it. So that with felt, even if you had it longer, like this is a longer piece of fabric, it's fleece. That if you had something like this on it, um, it just it doesn't look as nice. Whereas this has the artwork on it and the coloring and it's printed on there and everything that it gives you that illusion and that elevation so it looks like if you went outside and you saw a hill you're not going to see a hill sitting on top of a table which is what we often see as war gamers you're going to see the hill part of the drain as opposed to this <laughs> right see and this is imagine these are nice hills they're not but imagine that. This is what we see as war gamers. We see people that get hills, and granted, they look nice. They're well made hills. They are expensive hills, usually, but they're this. And that's fine. But it's very delineated, as in, here's your terrain. You, you get your table. You get probably maybe a nice mat or something. Um, not made like these, though, but yeah, something like that. And then nice looking hill, and bam. But you can see like the jagged edges all around here and it's very clearly delineated whereas with well, the cigar box what people love about them is that people do this and it's suggested to do this it's one of the things that got me wanting to try them out so cigar box and then we got one more and again i'm never gonna be able to fold this up the way the other was and that's static I'm like a magnet for static electricity, so I'm worried about touching that. Okay, so that's these two, and those are mats that are available now. The next one is a brand new mat, and I shouldn't pick it up yet because the sound is going to be awful, especially since I'm not wearing a lapel mic. I don't have one, actually. It's on my list of things to get. Uh, I'm using the webcams mic right in here, and I don't have my fancy podcast mic. That'd be right about here or so. Uh, it's a lot of equipment to bring down, to plug in and be like, oh, here, for this. So, don't have. You know, so, I'm going to sound a little more echoey because I got all this wood paneling. I know. Uh, but it's, it's nice. It's quiet space. Um, the next mat, though, I'm very excited about because it's brand new. It's unavailable. You can't buy it yet. You cannot get this mat yet. And I'm so excited. They said, hey, we got this mat. Do you want to try it out? It's similar to what some of the ones you're looking at. Do you want to try it out? And it has a new treatment, which is available on some select mats, but they're not publicizing it yet. So I think I'm one of the first people in our Wargaming Media kind of thing, as much as you can say Wargaming Media exists. Like, I don't know of any Wargaming blogs or other podcasts or news sites. I don't know of any of them that have talked about it. Now, they may have. I'm just unaware of it, but I don't know about them. So I'm going to claim... Tentatively, okay, it's tentative. I'm claiming Wargaming Recon is the first to show this publicly, okay? So here goes. So again, you got the bag, and you notice this is so much thicker than the others, right? Same material, it actually has a, an order number on it, order number to get out of the bag. And this, oh my goodness. Oh, I just want to. I don't normally get so touchy feely on the show or wargaming stuff. Oh, but dear Lord, this is the softest thing. Okay, side note I have two mini lop rabbits named Malcolm and Sally. People have heard them in early episodes of the show way back, 2010 or so. 
They are arguably the softest things I've ever touched in my entire life. Their fur is so silky soft. Malcolm is very velveteen, just it's beautiful, silky and softy. And I just want to pack them forever because I'm crazy, I guess. I don't know. This is like the same thing. It's so soft. And I just want to cuddle it and hug it. And oh my God, I want to wear clothing made out of this. It is, wow. I know it's just an unboxing, but dear Lord, this is so soft. So this is a new treatment. It is, oh my God. <laughs> new treatment. It's a type of short teddy bear fur. So we've all seen, right, the teddy bear for tables where people have done, got a bunch of table fur and it's long and sometimes they cut it to get it shorter, but you don't get it this short, you don't get it this soft and it's nice and they paint it or whatever. And it gives a nice little bit of elevation, a little bit of 3D feel. And I can see why people do them. They've never been my favorite. I would rather plain felt than them just because like you can't get the models in just right and they fall over and these issues, right? This is Cigar Box mat, Battle Mat's answer. And this, I wanted something that I could use for Wargaming, French and Indian War, uh, American Revolution, AKA American War of Independence. I wanted something that I could transfer and use, say in Europe, for the anywhere forested really, um, throughout North America. I do black powder predominantly. I'm gonna be doing some more Hail Caesar and Ancients. Wanted to be doing any of that kind of stuff. Wanted to have a collection that'd be versatile. And I also wanted to review stuff that'd be broad enough that it would fit most of the different needs that people would have. The only things I didn't do was a space mat and I didn't do a sea mat. Because there's a sea mat that I want, an ocean go mat, but it's not coming out until 2017. And they're still like, it's in their heads. They haven't done anything with it. So they couldn't even like rush one to me or whatever. And I asked. <laughs> When it, when it gets, comes closer, maybe I'll, I'll see if I can work something out with them for a review copy of that. So this is, I forget what they call it, but it, it's like the New Grassland, but it has a special name. So you might see on their website one called New Grassland, and it's, well, hell, I'm going to, no, I'm not. I was going to look it up because I had the words and, and stuff and what they've said. But So this is the, their new mat. You're going to note the backside is different. It's nice and soft. You can't note that it's soft because you can't feel... It has their logo, and because of the different type of treatment, their logo looks a little different, right? It's the same logo. Oh my goodness, let's open this up. And this is it. And so again, it has that graduation of color. It's predominantly green. They have some open field, muddy field kind of stuff where it's actually a lot browner. And they told me this wouldn't have a lot of brown. So this has some greens in it. It has, let's get a little closer. It has some nice yellowing in it, some variations, and it's just, it's very well done. Let's look, it looks like it's cut even. This is one I'm going to put on the table, on which I'm recording. And I'll take some pictures and put them on Facebook and on the website. Make sure it all looks fantastic. And then. I want to do a comparison for you <laughs> so you can see side by side. First of all, I'm going to do like I did with the other ones. These aren't official Lego. Um, pretend Lego <laughs> pieces. If you're a Lego fan, you know what they're for. If you're not, I'm not going to bore you. So i got those here for my terrain. Put this like so. Okay, make myself a hill. Yeah, so this is tall. You can use t-shirts, get a Wargaming Recon t-shirt, and then roll it up and put it underneath um, towels, whatever. So you can see it is like so. You got the things, it looks nice. So here's this one next to the white. So besides being different, you can tell this is flatter. And I'll make it flat for you. So you can see how flat it is. And this one, it's a little denser. Make it as flat as I can. So you can see 
and I actually have some models here. I hate to put them on it because the paint flakes off them. But I'm going to put a model on so you can see. Now, these are big. These are armies in plastic models for French and Indian War, muskets and tomahawks. I'm going to be doing a thing with co host Alex. So you can see, it's on. And if it was wintry. And he stands just fine. Even if it's a little hilly, this crazy stuff. You might not be able to get them to do that if it was a teddy bear for a mat. Just telling you. So we'll pop him back in. And then you don't need to keep seeing my crotch. We'll do comparison between these two. And the, the desert one and the winter one are exactly the same fleece material. And this mat here, the I forget what it's called, it's warfare something, something, something. Um, I'll I'll find out. I know what it is, it's just I can't remember. Is also fleece, but with the teddy bear treatment. And I'm actually just gonna look up quick. So it's gonna be boring for you to be watching me looking it up. I'm going to look it up quick on their website because I want you to know what they call it. I believe they call it plush. So we're just going to go ahead and find out. <coughs> <coughs> and I apologize for the coughing. It's not very non-professional of me. However, I am still getting over that respiratory virus that I had mentioned to you. Um, previously that I had so okay so this is called field of battle it's their new replacement for the grassland uh, the grass grassy field mat and plush is what you want it's like an extra two dollars I believe is what they charge I think it's extra two and that gives you the plush version like I said not every mat comes in plush be kind of weird maybe to have a desert Matt in plush, but you get the idea. The gorgeous, absolutely beautiful. That's the unboxing. As I said, full review will be done for a future episode of the show in 2017 during the 2017 podcast season. So I hope you will look forward to that. I'm going to have the guys from Cigar Box Battle Mats on the show and we'll talk about these products and what they're doing. So that's going to be happening in 2017. A lot of other cool stuff. But here's the unboxing. I talked for a long time. Kind of got a review, I guess, but I didn't mean to. And they're gorgeous. So I hope you will check them out. And if you do happen to like what you saw in the unboxing and choose to buy any from them, please let them know that you did so because you saw the unboxing video and that you went to them because of Wargaming Recon. One of the cool things about when companies work arrangements out so that we can review things, Either we get them for free um, or we pay a price. So it worked out something. I didn't pay full price for these. I did pay um, towards them, got a good deal, but I, I got a discount on them so I could review them. Because honestly, I could not afford to get three of these in full size because they're gorgeous, right? They're going to last you a lifetime, but they're not cheap. Quality does not come cheap. So you got to keep that in mind. But with the review thing, it helps for the companies to know that review copies was worth it to them. So they don't want to just be sending out stuff, whether it's free or discounted, even if it's only like a penny off price, that's one penny less than that they could have made. And so they like to have things go out so that one, they can get honest reviews. The fact that these were review copies, I didn't know what they looked like, you know, in person, go from opening it until I opened. I had seen one that a buddy of mine, Alex has, and I liked it. But other than that, I, I didn't have never seen these specific ones in person. So if I open them and they look like crap, I would be like, unboxing, um, hair, sorry, they don't look so great, but here they are, I guess. And I would have been honest about it, but I think they look great. And any company, not just cigar box battle mats, but any company, when they send something out for review, they like to know that they're going to get a return on investment so that if people are buying stuff from the company because of seeing things talked about a Wargaming Recon, 
it helps because then they're going to continue to do business with us and continue to allow me and other fellas on Wargaming Recon to review their stuff and get review copies and review arrangements and so forth. So if you want us to be able to continue to do this, if you do business with Cigar Box Battle Mats, please let them know that you went to them because of us. Wargaming Recon. Yay! And that's what we've got. So thank you for watching this unboxing video. If you have a cigar box battle mat, I hope you love it. I'd love to hear from you. Jonathan at WargamingRecon.com. Or you can leave a comment on this video, whether it's on YouTube or on our Facebook page, or just leave a comment on Facebook, WargamingRecon.com slash Facebook. And we'll get your comments and your feedbacks. And if you don't have one, you want to find out how to get one, get in touch through the previous mentioned ways, and we'll direct you to them and get things going on. So thank you, and you know the deal. Keep on gaming. I don't know why I did that because that's dumb, but keep on gaming.